I don't know why, but the planet in between my eyebrows, for some reason, it like, it looks so much, but is it bleeding? So yeah, of course it comes up the first day of Vlogmas and it just won't leave. I apologize for you having to stare at it constantly and look at these bruises on my arm. I don't know where these came from and they're like, not cute. They're like everywhere. I feel like I need to go put some concealer on it because it's just too crazy. BRB. All right, I'm back. I got my favorite concealer. This is the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. So, so amazing. Please work wonders right now because I really need you to. Come on, come on. A little bit better. Hello guys, so welcome to the vlog. Today, I sort of have plans, I sort of don't. They're kind of up in the air. Steph isn't picking up her phone, but we have plans today, so I'm not sure if they're happening anymore. I hope she's okay though, if anything's happening, but um, I wanted to come to you guys with a CVS haul. I know it's random, but I went to CVS late last night because I'm actually doing a video today. I actually have to go film in a little bit, but um, I needed to go pick up some bobby pins for my video and some like little hair elastics and things that I've just been really needing and toilet paper which is back there which I really needed. Tara's texting me about my vlog. What a true friend when she watches the vlogs even though she knows what goes on because she's always there. Anyways, as I was saying, so I ran to CVS last night and I ended up getting a bunch of stuff, like a bunch of different stuff um, and I thought I would do a random haul. It's actually a lot of beauty stuff and I wanted to go pick some stuff up because I, in a lot of videos, I've been using a lot of like Sephora products and like high-end sort of things and that's great but not everybody can get all those things so I wanted to go pick up some new drugstore products to try out for videos things that are a little bit more easily accessible and um, more inexpensive and things like that so I went and picked up some new stuff and I'm so jazzed I love makeup and I'm so excited okay I was gonna start with the makeup but I'm actually gonna tell you guys a story all right I went in pretty late to the store it was like 11 o'clock I want to say um, and I was just stopping by on the way back from dinner with my aunt and my mom and I was shopping around and I had predominantly beauty products in my basket and then this woman stops me this woman who works there and she's like oh um, you just missed it we had like a Black Friday sale like I wish you'd been here like you would have saved so much money and I was like oh man I had no idea you guys have Black Friday sales and she's like yeah like no one really thinks about it at CVS and like but we actually have like really good stuff it was like buy two get one free on all this stuff and I was like oh man I wish I had been here anyways we were just chatting uh, she's a really really nice lady and we were just like talking seriously like I was just having a nice conversation with her um, and then after we were done I said like have a nice night and then I went and I carried about my business and I went and got my stuff and then when I was at the checkout line all of a sudden she showed up again and she was like hey I just wanted to give you these things and she gave me a bunch of like free samples of stuff and she had gone and found some samples for me of stuff that they were giving out on Black Friday and she's like these are the last ones we have and she was so so nice um her name was Eunice so Eunice I don't she doesn't probably watch my videos but if you do thank you so much it was so nice and she was such a nice lady and I wasn't expecting any of this and she was just so sweet so I got some free samples of stuff I didn't even know CVS had free samples but she gave me this Tresemme perfectly undone wave creation sea foam whoa that sounds nice maybe I'll try this out in my hair or something um or something that's the only place it goes please forgive me if i'm wrong she pronounced it to me last night but i don't remember is it vicky vichy vicky v-i-c-h-y i'm not sure oh this one's a cleanser and this is a cleansing gel so i cannot wait to try these things and then she also gave me um a sleep gel Ooh, i want to try that whoa <gasps> no way she gave me a coupon for garnier and there are these little things here and it says find your skin type and you rub it on your skin and it tells you if you have dry skin, normal skin, oily skin, or combination skin. And all my life I thought that I had combination skin. Let's do this right now. Okay. Cheek here. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Okay. So this looks like my skin is, oh, it looks like it's normal. There's like little pictures here. So this one looks normal. There's not much oil there. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh yeah, this one says my forehead is oily. Look at that. It looks like the picture. How crazy, that is so cool. I should probably throw this away because it's kind of gross too. And last but not least, I got a coupon for $3 off a L'Oreal mascara. So thank you, Eunice. That is seriously so, 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 so nice. I'm so excited to try all this stuff out and that skin thing was cool. Okay, moving on to the stuff that I bought. So first of all, I got some makeup products. I didn't know CVS had e.l.f., but they do and this brush 
is my favorite brush in the entire world. Seriously, like over MAC brushes, over anything that I've ever tried. It's just their powder brush and it looks like this and it's just the best brush ever for buffing powder into the skin. It does such a good job, $3, it's amazing. I picked up this Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. I've always wanted to try um, their primer before and I decided last night I'd pick it up. I also picked up the L'Oreal Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator. I've been super into highlighting the cheeks and everything like that so I got this and this is in the shade 101 golden I picked up some new lashes I wear lashes all the time now seriously like at least like five days out of the week or when I do put makeup on I got this Milani blush in Berry Amore which is a really pretty like frosty pinky color I absolutely love baked products and they are like they're my favorites because they're so pretty to look at <gasps> look how pretty that is baked products are seriously the prettiest and I think there's a brush oh yeah there's a little brush in the bottom with a mirror how nice so I got that I also picked up the Milani eye tech extreme liquid eyeliner I have never tried this but but it reminds me a lot of the Stila one, and my Stila one is almost out, so it looks like, oh wait, have I tried this? No, I've tried the L'Oreal one. It looks like this, it's just like a little liquid pen thingy, and I love these things. Next, I have the Maybelline The Rocket. I've been needing a new mascara. I finished up my entire CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I used that like to death, and I wanted to pick up another drugstore mascara because I don't usually buy high-end mascaras. I find that the drugstore ones work just as well as those do. So I picked up this one and I always get the waterproof in the blackest black. This is one of my absolute favorite drugstore mascaras. And this is the best part about getting a new mascara. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, so satisfying. Beautiful. I picked up a ton of bobby pins because I always need bobby pins and I can never find mine. So they had like a buy one get one free deal. So I got those. I also got two packs of these little um, scoonchy, scoon, scunchy, however you say it, um, little like plastic bandy things because I constantly braid my hair and have the extensions. I have to braid my hair every single night before I go to bed. And these things um, are great and they don't leave like marks or anything. I also got some new hair ties because I am constantly losing mine. I just got some little ones and some like flat ones. And last but not least, something that I'm very excited about, cotton pads. I'm just kidding, I did get cotton pads, but I'm really excited about this. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I saw Essie Button got this, so obviously I had to get it. The packaging itself reminds me so much of Bioderma and I absolutely love that stuff. I got it when I was in France about three years ago, but I love that I can get this here and it was actually not that expensive, I don't think. Let me check the receipt. It was $9.29, which I think is actually significantly less expensive than the um, actual Bioderma. So I'm excited to try this. I actually kind of feel like trying it right now. And you just put some onto the uh, cotton pad. Essentially, this just cleans your skin and it cleanses it, removes like dirt and makeup and refreshes everything. And it is, oh my gosh, it's like the most refreshing thing in the world. Oh. Yeesh, ah, so fresh and clean. I feel amazing. So gonna let my skin dry and then I'm gonna go work on my video, but I hope you enjoyed this very random beauty haul from CVS and I will keep you guys updated with my plans today because I have no idea what's going on, but I do know that I need to get a video done. So that's what I'm gonna focus on and then whatever happens later happens later. So I'll see you guys soon, bye. Hey guys, so update. I finally made it out of the apartment and it's currently, what time is it? 4.44 p.m. Also, can we take a look at this edit that I believe her name is Katie on Twitter made me? Amazing. Me doing the splits in the clouds while holding my one million little screen topic. It's the funniest thing ever. It's now my home screen. It's Hillary's home screen and we just love it so much. So thank you, Katie, if you're watching this. Anyways, so I'm finally out of the apartment. I got my whole video done. It is much, much later. I did, I filmed it, edited, and uploaded it. So it took me quite some time, quite a few hours, but I'm good now and I feel accomplished with that. And I'm actually heading out right now because I'm gonna go by the full screen offices My vlog channel is actually with the network full screen and the person who manages me over there is Pear if you guys don't know um, She's seriously one of the nicest people I've ever met She's managed me for a really long time and she now manages my vlog channel. It's a weird Confusing thing. I know like YouTube things are so confusing. It takes like a really I don't even fully grasp it to be honest Anyway, she asked me if she could come drop something off and I said I'm just gonna come stop by I kind of got a hold of Steph like a few hours ago And then now she's not picking up like Steph is notorious for like not not picking up her phone. So anyways, until we wait for Steph to get back to us, I'm going to run over to the full screen offices and go pick up whatever pair has for me, which is so sweet. She didn't have to get me anything at all, but I can't wait to see her. And then after that, I'm gonna run to the grocery store and I need to get you guys updated on what happened with my whole catfish situation. Before I do that though, we're gonna go over to full screen because Pear's gonna leave soon and I don't wanna miss her. So let's go and I'll update you soon.
Okay guys, I just got here and I think I see Pear coming. Is it her coming? I'm not exactly sure. But I got here on my own without any directions and I'm very proud of myself. Actually, I don't think that's her. I hope I'm even in the right place. I don't know. We will see. Okay. I feel like cars are coming. Okay, bye. With Pear. Huh? <laughs> Look what she got. I'm gonna cry. I can't believe this. This isn't real right now. Hello. This is great. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. I hope you like it. No, thank you so much. Yeah, it's seriously like everything I've always wanted. How did you get it so fast? Oh, um, I ordered it. Oh like, the moment you turned one million, I was like, shh, I <laughs> Here I was like, I have to do email. I was like, wait. I can only get it a week later. Oh, I can't. I love but you so much. But then they rush ordered it. So. Thank you. Okay, guys, I just left full screen and I'm over at Ralph's now. And can we just talk about how amazing Pear is? I have seriously, I'm not even exaggerating. I have one of these donuts forever. I was gonna buy them for myself because I thought they were really cute. And I see people do it all the time. I saw, um, like, I follow California Donuts on Instagram and people do it for like their anniversaries and stuff. And if they hit like milestones or something like that, or birthdays and stuff. And I was like, I need to get that. It's my reason for when I hit one million and she got them for me and I am so so thankful thank you so much pair you didn't have to get me anything but she is oh she's the sweetest ever I just want to cry I just posted about it on Twitter what's that red blinking light is that me is that someone else Oh, it's someone's reflection of their blinker. So yes, I'm currently in the Ralph's parking lot. There are so many people here. Someone's about to pull right in front of me. So I'm just gonna put you guys down here so that they don't think I'm like crazy insane. So yes, I'm in the parking lot right now and I need to tell you guys a story. You know what? I'm just gonna embrace it. People are going to stare at me and that's fine. Anyways, so moving on. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about my catfish story. So I got to the bottom of it. I figured it out. I'm an idiot. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, last night I seriously thought that I was being catfished of some sort of way, shape or form. Um, I will link the vlog down below Below so you can get caught up if you didn't see that but moving on from the story from where it ended I typed the number into Google actually to figure out like where the number was coming from because it has the same area code as my hometown I just didn't know like what city so I put the number into Google and it told me the city from where it was coming from and then it said that it was activated in 2001 anyways long story short I called Hillary and I said please help me I don't know what's going on I'm actually genuinely scared that like I've been talking to this person thinking that they were one of my friends from home and it's not and I I don't know what to do so I asked Hillary to help me out because she is the best at cyber stalking I'm not even kidding like if you've got an ex-boyfriend that you're trying to do some digging on or if you got a current boyfriend or something like that if you're like interested in the guy she is the one to go to she will find everything anyway so Hillary calls me at about 2 a.m. Remy oh my god I figured it out I figured out what's going on I said okay like who is it obviously wanting to know this never would have crossed my mind to do because I'm not this good at that kind of stuff she took the phone number put it into snapchat and then saw what username came up with that she was freaking out because the person who it is their snapchat username had the name Cruz in it if you don't know my last name is Cruz so she thought that they were some crazy stalker like subscriber and they were gonna like hurt me or something and I was like I as soon as she told me the screen name I was dying laughing and she's like why are you laughing like it's not funny like this is serious for me and I said no that is one of my friends from home if you guys don't remember I had a friend in high school named Kayla and I haven't talked to her well I, I thought I hadn't talked to her in a really long time but I guess I've been talking to her for a really long time now I hope I'm making sense <laughs> because I know it's really confusing anyway so Hillary's freaking out because she's like they stole your name like they're trying to like frame you or something and I'm like no Kayla has the same last name as me which is why that's her username on snapchat the only thing is that I must have put her name in my phone as Jen's name on accident I like somehow mixed it up and so I had two people in my phone named Jen and I only know like I'm only close to one Jen um, like close enough to have them in my phone and I never realized it because I don't talk to everybody on a normal basis anymore so I haven't talked to Jen apparently in like six months but I thought I've been talking to her forever which now makes sense because after I realized it was Kayla I texted her I was like oh my god you're not gonna believe what just happened and I told her everything she's like that's hilarious I was wondering why you were asking me like when when I went to Europe and how Europe was because I didn't go to Europe and then I flash back to seriously July when Jen the real Jen got home from Europe and I was like how was Europe I'm sad that I missed it like how was Greece because our families were supposed to go on the trip together and I remember Jen who was really Kayla was like I, I didn't go to Europe and I was like yes you did I I'm looking at the pictures on Facebook right now she's like no I didn't and I thought maybe she just didn't want to talk about it or something I just like brushed it off which I definitely should have like questioned it more at the time but I was like okay whatever maybe she's just one chat and turns out it was legitimately the wrong person. So I told Kayla we're laughing about it, told Jen we're laughing about it, and now um, we're all gonna hang out when we go home for winter break. So it's hilarious, and it seriously was just like a stupid mistake on my behalf, and the girl who just got out of her car in front of me and then got back in is like staring at me like, this girl is nuts. I'm good, it's a hilarious story now. I cannot, I don't know how, like what happened at some point in time to make me like switch the names on our 
like the contacts I don't know what happened but it's all good I figured it out I'm dying I you guys I was terrified anyways now that I know it's Kayla I'm completely fine and we're chatting so much about makeup now because I love makeup also I forgot to tell you that Steph actually she told me she can't move I don't know what she did to not be able to move um so we're not gonna hang out tonight so I apologize to all those who are excited to see Steph I was excited to see Steph but Steph I know you're watching this I hope you're okay and that you can move I, I I'm guessing she probably just ran too much or something so I'm gonna go in and get all my groceries. Let's go. Do you want to come? Let's go. Shout out to Mia. Hey guys, so I am back home now. It is quite a few hours later. It is 11.44 p.m. I haven't been doing the best job of vlogging today. I'm sorry. I haven't had an exciting day whatsoever, so it's kind of hard to vlog when you have nothing to share with anyone. So yes, I had a little bit of a me night. I, when I got back from the grocery store, I made myself some dinner. I made myself some soup. It was bomb. And then I watched some TV. I watched some Bob's Burgers, got some editing done, got some emails done. Um, and yeah, I just kind of chilled. I just cleaned up my fridge and cleaned up around my apartment a little bit. Yeah, I just had like an all in all, just kind of me day, which was actually very, very nice to have. And I'm gonna end the vlog here because I seriously, I'm just gonna go to bed after this. I'm gonna edit this vlog and go to bed. <laughs> Even though today's vlog was wasn't the most exciting thing in the world. I hope you still liked it. That's kind of what happens with Vlogmas is some days are more exciting than others or daily vlogs in general. Some days are gonna be more exciting than others and today was a me day. But I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you, good night, and goodbye.